welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the graduation of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Potter. Join me as I pray. Creator God, our help in ages past and our hope for days ahead, we ask your blessing over today's graduation ceremony. Allow us to celebrate, enjoy, and reflect on the great accomplishments and achievements of the soldiers, cadre, staff, and families during this training cycle. We are thankful for these soldiers who transform themselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Thank you for protecting them and helping them discover a bigger purpose of service. We are thankful for the investment of the cadre and staff to develop and train these soldiers. Thank you for giving them patience, knowledge, and wisdom to impart on these young men and women. We also reflect on the families who have supported and encouraged the trainees to finish basic training and become soldiers. Thank you for bringing them to this moment that has been long awaited, prayed for, and hoped for. Finally, Father, I place your blessing on the soldiers of 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, in the words of King David from Psalm 18. Give them your shield of victory and sustain them by your right hand. Crush their enemies so that they cannot rise and cause them to fall beneath their feet. Arm the soldiers of 113 with strength for battle and cause their enemies to turn their backs in flight until they are utterly destroyed. Bless us now as we continue to faithfully and honorably serve our great nation. In your most holy name I pray. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation in the career of one lifelong soldier and for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenge and difficulties that come with the life of, of a career soldier but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of those soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very well, warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of our retirees' lifelong dedication to our nation and are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the command of CW3 Kevin Pick, graduating soldiers from Company Alpha, Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from Companies Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinct distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system selected based on professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Tiffany N. Tompkins, who serves as the executive officer for the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. She and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony A. Messenger. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Stephen L. Goodiel the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander.
The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Competence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeants coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and service as an example to all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the retirement of a lifelong soldier. All soldiers begin their journey by graduating from basic combat training. Over the years, there have been changes to how the Army conducts basic training. However, many things remain the same. It was during basic training that this soldier was first introduced to the Army values. It is where she learned the importance of teamwork and that the Army truly is a family. That sense of team and Army family is still embedded in what is done here today. Over 25 years ago, this soldier took the same oath to defend this nation that your loved ones on the field have taken. We salute this great soldier as she passes the torch of freedom along to the newest generation of soldiers. Your loved ones standing on the field today. A certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States will be presented to those retiring today. It reads, I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during critical times in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice, in keeping with the proud traditions of the military service. I trust that in the coming years, you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you serve. Those who follow in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made to ensure the protection of our American freedom. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future.
A certificate of retirement from the Chief of Staff, United States Army, is also presented to those retiring today and to the spouses of today's retiree for, her dedica for his dedicated service to our nation. At this time, Brigadier General Kelly and Command Sergeant Major Oaks will recognize our retiree for her service to the United States Army. Sergeant First Class Amanda Moore, having served honorably for 25 years of service, is placed on the retirement list effective 1 November 2023. Sergeant First Class Moore entered active duty in Ayer, Massachusetts, and will reside in South Carolina upon retirement. Her fondest professional achievement, being a part of the SHARP program when arriving to the 2nd Brigade, there wasn't a SHARP program built. There was 16 vacant slots, and within a year and a half, she got 16 soldiers trained and credentialed in the SHARP program, filling all empty slots. The nation salutes Sergeant First Class Amanda Moore, United States Army, retired. Although newly retired, she will always be a part of our Army family. The soldier most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, the drill sergeant of the cycle for Charlie Company, 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Drill Sergeant Benjamin Rhodes, will recite the drill sergeant creed. We ask that all drill sergeants, past and present, please stand for the reciting of the drill sergeant creed. Anthony A. Messenger and Command Star Major Stephen L. Goudiel will now present the awards. The outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle for 113th Infantry Battalion is Drill Sergeant Benjamin Rhodes from Westchester, Pennsylvania. The soldier leader of the cycle from Alpha Company is Private Lena A. Sunderland from Sapien, North Mariana Islands. The soldier of the cycle for Alpha Company is Private Victor Y. Najjar from Oregon City, Oregon. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Emily O. Augustine from Shelby, Nebraska.
The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Aiden P. Lucas Vandehei from Poplar Grove, Illinois. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is PFC Hayden Montgomery from Marion, Indiana. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Jacob Wilhoyt from Torrington, Wyoming. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Private Isabella Vargas from Anaheim, California. The soldier of the cycle for Delta Company is Private Slate Wilson from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Bariah B. Israel from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Owen Alexander from Olaf, Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony A. Messenger. Good morning. Brigadier General Kelly, Command Sergeant Major Duncan, Commanders, Command Sergeants Major, distinguished guests, families, and friends of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, thank you for attending today's ceremony. On behalf of the U.S. Army Training Center and Fort Jackson Commanding General, Brigadier General Kelly, the U.S. Army Training Center and Fort Jackson Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Oaks, welcome to Fort Jackson, where we make American soldiers. We can get up for that. Right. I'd also like to welcome you to your soldiers' graduation ceremony and the retirement review for Sergeant First Class Moore. To the families in the audience, Thank you for trusting us with your loved ones and for supporting their decision to serve our nation. It is my privilege to officially welcome you both to the Army and the Vicksburg family. I am proud and honored to stand before you here today to provide remarks on this occasion. It was truly a rewarding experience watching this diverse group of citizens transform into a cohesive team of talented soldiers. America is the great nation it is today because of the sacrifices of generations of service members and their families who have fought to sustain our freedoms. The great men and women, some of whom made the ultimate sacrifice, volunteered to serve at a time and place where their nation needed them most. The blood, sweat, and tears shed on the battlefield and the home front is the reason we are able to assemble here today and celebrate the accomplishments of the soldiers on the field and our retirees. Today, as we welcome 1,184 of America's newest warfighters to our ranks, we also honor one of our own, Sergeant First Class Moore, who is retiring honorably from active duty. I'd like to take some time to personally thank her for 25 years of dedicated service to our nation. Over her career, some of her proudest moments is earning the German Armed Forces Proficiency Badge and serving as a Brigade Sexual Assault Response Coordinator right here at Fort Jackson. Please help me recognize her, her family, along with all of our veterans and retirees of armed services past and present. You all especially know the significance of what these soldiers have accomplished. Thank you for attending today. The strength of our army is our soldiers and their families. I'd be remiss if I did not mention that none of us serve alone. Our families serve right along with us 
to make sacrifices along the way. Thank you for supporting your soldier over the years, and thank you to all the military families here today. Please join me in a round of applause for our military families. Out on the field today alongside our soldiers is the 282nd Band. We have the privilege of having the absolute best band in the Army right here on Fort Jackson. Please join me in a round of applause for this great band. The next group of individuals I'd like to recognize are my cadre. This talented group of staff officers, non-commissioned officers, platoon leaders, commanders, and first sergeants work tirelessly so that the battalion accomplishes its mission. Their efforts often get overlooked because they are quiet professionals that work in the background to make all of this possible. Please join me in a round of applause for my cadre. And now, I want to thank the backbone of the battalion, the drill sergeants. Those of us who have been in the Army remember how demanding basic training was as a trainee. The hours of practicing rifle marksmanship, the intense physical training, and the constant stress. What we do not appreciate is that through it all, our drill sergeants were there every step of the way. They are up in the morning preparing before the trainees get out of bed, and they only go home after the trainee is back in his or her rack. They do this cycle after cycle. This level of dedication to duty and selfless service is impressive. I would like to take a moment to recognize this team of professionals and the families that support them for a job well done. A little over 10 weeks ago, the soldiers you see before you left home, some of them for the very first time. They left as civilians. They left as your sons and daughters, your mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, even grandchildren. You sent them to us. You trusted us to house them and feed them, but also to train them and make them better. And they stand before you now transformed. On 25 August, 1,200 trainees began this journey. 1,184 American soldiers stand before you here today. Here are some interesting facts about this diverse group. The youngest soldier is 17, the oldest is 40. They come from every state, two U.S. territories, 25 different countries, represent five continents. Places like Nigeria, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, Portugal, Burma, Guatemala, Brazil, Jamaica, and China. From coast to coast, Hawaii and Alaska too, we've got them in the formation. There are soldiers in this formation with associate's degrees. We have 19. We have 96 bachelor's degrees, 23 masters, and four doctorates. We have 94 American soldiers on the field today that are now also American citizens. Despite their unique and diverse backgrounds, what unites all of them is that each of them, for their own unique reasons, answered the call. They raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Ladies and gentlemen, the soldiers standing on the field today represent the very best this nation has to offer. They are physically fit, they're gritty, they're lethal, they know what it means to be a member of a team, and they take pride in being in the Army, and they are resilient. Time and time again, throughout some very tough and realistic training, they built bonds that tie them together while demonstrating they are up to the task of defending our nation. Command Sergeant Major Gudiel and I are extremely proud, we'll sleep easy, knowing the future of our great Army lies in their capable hands. To the soldiers on the field, Team Vicksburg, this is my last opportunity as your commander to talk with you. I want to leave you with a few thoughts before you continue your Army journey. You made it. You didn't quit. You showed grit and determination to be a soldier. You did not quit on yourself, your teammates, or your nation. I know that when called, you will answer, and together we will win. I am proud to count you amongst the ranks. You should be proud of what you accomplished. Take some time and enjoy the moment. It's a critical milestone in the life of a soldier. Always remember, the business of defending our nation never stops. And tomorrow, we need you to get right back at it. Set your goals high. The Army is one of the very few true meritocracies in the world. Over the course of your career, you will have countless opportunities to advance and excel. You just have to put in the hard work and take advantage of them. Only you can stop you. And finally, from the first day you arrived in our battalion, you've been saying our unofficial motto on a daily basis. That motto is hard work. The response is dedication. You've exemplified those words over the course of your training. Always remember, 
It was hard work and dedication that got you here, and it's hard work and dedication that will enable you to overcome any of your future challenges. I am proud of all of you. I wish you luck in your future endeavors. Welcome to the Army, welcome to Team Vicksburg, and welcome to the family. Hard work, dedication, the first at Vicksburg, no ground to give, and victory. Today's soldier is, above all, a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in Army values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldier's Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspoken assurance to all who, who see you that you are a willing and able protector of freedom, fought so erroneously for, by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand as Private Emily O. Augustine presents a certificate of appreciation to the retiree and leads the soldiers standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until it has passed to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees may meet their soldier under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends, please meet your soldiers on the field once instructed by the narrator by respective companies. The 13th Infantry Regiment formed on July 16, 1798, during the first expansion of the Army after the War of the Independence. 
During the War of 1812, the 13th Infantry was engaged almost constantly in skirmishes along the northern frontier. The 13th United States Infantry was then reorganized by direction of the President on May 14, 1861. Its headquarters were established at Jefferson Barracks, Missouri, where companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Golf of the 1st Battalion were organized. During the American Civil War, the unit earned its motto, First at Vicksburg. On December 2, 1863, the regiment left for the expedition against Vicksburg, where they participated in the, bat the battles of Hayes Bluff, Champion Hill, and Black River. On May 19, 1863, the regiment led the assault on the Vicksburg fortifications. The 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, was the only Union unit to plant its colors on the Confederate positions. While the other battalions of the regiment have adopted the 40 rounds motto of the 15th Corps, the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, truly was first at Vicksburg. Following the Civil War, the battalion participated in the Indian Wars fighting multiple skirmishes in the Montana and Dakota territories. During the Spanish-American War, the battalion was sent to Cuba with the 1st Infantry Division. On July 1st, 1898, the 13th Infantry was part of the fierce fighting on San Juan Hill. The regiment suffered the highest casualty rate, but is credited with being the first to breach the enemy position. The remaining soldiers stormed the fortifications, engaged the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and captured the enemy's flag. Passing the reviewing stand is the commander of troops, Major Tiffany N. Tompkins and the battalion staff. The 282nd Army Band is commanded by CW3 Kevin Pitt. The drum major is Staff Sergeant Graham Hutchinson. Alpha Company is commanded by 